The May 2021 release of iDate apps is now available for Revit versions 2019 through 2022. In this video, we'll cover the top improvements for iDate apps. Be sure to review the What's New in iDate software video to learn about general improvements that also apply to iDate apps. The May 2021 release of iDate apps includes many new features and improvements, as shown here. Let's review some of those features and improvements. A long-standing request from our customers and developers was the ability to gain programming access to the view title information, such as a placement and title length. Unfortunately, this information was not available to developers until the release of Revit 2022. With the May 2021 release of ID8 apps, we've added the ability to coordinate the view title location and line length in ID8 Clone, ID8 Align, ID8 Sheet Manager, and the Create Sheets feature for Revit 2022, ensuring consistency in sheet layouts. Prior versions of ID8 View Creator allows users to duplicate views within the same family, such as floor plans of floor plans and ceiling plans of ceiling plans. While this method of duplicating views is extremely efficient and fast, it does not allow for the duplication from one family type to another, such as plans to reflect the ceiling plans. With the May 2021 release of ID8 apps, users are now able to duplicate views from one family type to another, such as plans to reflect the ceiling plans, plans of structural plans, and area schemes to other area schemes, making view creation even faster and formatting more consistent. In prior versions of ID8 apps, plan views such as floor plans, ceiling plans, structural plans, and area plans were hard-coded to align based on model coordinates when the scale of the views were the same. With the May 2021 release of ID8 apps, users now have the option to deselect the default setting of align plan views using model coordinates and align their view selections based on the center of the crop views, giving users more flexibility on how their plan views are aligned. Let's look at a quick demo of this new alignment feature. Looking at a Revit example, we are viewing a parent view and its dependent views. The blue triangles represent the model coordinates. The sheet in the upper left is home to the parent view, while the other three sheets represent the dependent views. Selection A is the north dependent view. Selection B is the central dependent view. And selection C is the south dependent view. Launching ID8 Align, we can see the template alignment view is set to the parent view. In the first example, we want to align the three dependent views using the model coordinates. We'll select the three dependent views and select Align. Closing the dialog box, you can see that the dependent views are all aligned via the model coordinates and are in the same position on all sheets. Now let's look at aligning views based on their centers. The blue circles represent the center of each view. Launching ID8 Align, we'll use the same parent view as a template but this time we will uncheck the Align Plan Views using Model Coordinates option, which will align the views based on their centers. We'll select the same dependent views as before, and then we'll select Align. You can now see that the views are all aligned by their centers in the same position on each sheet. The center option works well when you're wanting to align similar views with differing configurations, such as apartment plan options. The May 2021 release of ID8 X-Ray includes several new checks and improvements to visibility results. Examples include correct results when links are hidden categorically, as prior versions of X-Ray were indicating they were hidden by element instead of categorically. There is now a check for plan regions as the culprit of visibility issues, and there's also an update to include the view discipline settings for mechanical, electrical, and plumbing as the possible culprit for invisible elements in a view. There are two ways to access the latest release of ID8 software. From within any of the ID8 software products, you can find the updates via the help menu, as shown. You can also visit ID8software.com forward slash download to retrieve any of the software updates and trial versions of our products. Finally, be sure to review the What's New in ID8 software video to learn about the general improvements that also apply to ID8 apps. From the entire ID8 software team, thank you so much for reviewing this What's New video.